All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Mega Soda Game Night. It is Tuesday. It is November sixteenth, and we're about ready to get some games started off right away. My name is Tony. Over here to my right is my hello. beautiful bride, Nikki, and we are here with you tonight. Gonna have some fun, play some games, give out some big money. I hope you guys are here to win. Because we've got big prizes already. Three jackpots in the past half hour, it seems nice, like. Nice, yeah. People are raking in the dough. <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to that continuing here as we get off to the races. And this first game, this must-go game, $3,100 in total prizes. All going back to 200 of our closest friends. And it is a 10-minute, 45-play flash bingo tournament game. It is a high-low game where losers are winners. Lots going on here. First place is going to get $376, and worst place is going to get $376 as well. How's your week going? Going good. How's your week? Good. <laughs> One day closer to Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're so getting there. We are uh, going to have people in town and hanging out at the house and a big Thanksgiving Thursday dinner. Or mid-afternoon, big lunch, whatever it is, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So yes. hope you guys got some great Thanksgiving Day plans out there as well. If you do, check out on Player Connect. Let us know. Yes. All right. Let's go over our schedule for yes. tonight. Right now, we're in a round of Blingo Bingo. We're going to have 20 high-low winners in this game. At 6.57, we'll be getting into Winter Wonderland. We're going to have 50 winners in that game. At 7.11, it's our lucky 7.11 game, and that is going to be Fishing Derby. We're going to have 25 winners in that game. We also have our largemouth jackpot that's going to be over $5,756 in our smallmouth jackpot. Jackpot, that will be over $851. Then at 732, we've got Jackpot Hunter, $1 card game. We've got our Mega, Major, and Minor Jackpots in that game. Then at 739, it is open season. 25 winners in that game at 805 p.m. It will be Jackpot Jungle. And our 54 ball cover on that game is now going to be over $6,594. So it is yep. growing. It's growing. Quickly. Yeah, it yes. was over 100,000 not that long ago. And now it's all yeah. the way back, getting close to 10,000 yes. in just a couple days. So. Uh, looking forward to seeing some big winners in that game. Speaking of big winners, I saw SpongeBob on the leaderboard. Oh, all right. SpongeBob heard he got bounced out of second place in the state for PGL Season 10 and showed right up. Probably going to try to make yep. up some uh, points tonight. And speaking of points, I'm working on my primetime bets here. We'll talk about Player Connect later, but i got to get yeah. my bets in for tomorrow night. And Spinhead at the Lincoln Depot, home of Beef, Season 1 champion. In first place with 17,000 PGL points. This is a 10 minute 45 play flash bingo tournament game. If you watch those yellow progress bars working the way from the left to the right underneath each one of these players' names, that indicates how many of the 45 plays these players have completed. Once it gets all the way over to the right, they'll have no more plays left. They'll be able to sit back, relax, and watch the results unfold. Yes, and we are live right now on Pilot TV, yep. which you can find on the Pilot Player Connect app, um, pilotgames.com slash pilot TV, YouTube Live, and the Twitch app where our channel names are Mega Soda. Yep. So, yeah, we're right on, we're gonna be right on your phone. <laughs> you can just check in anytime. I'm on there right now. I probably shouldn't be. I'm having too much fun. But, uh, yeah, I'm in there chatting. So stop by and say hello. Yeah. All right, five minutes to go in this 10-minute game. Spinhead at the Lincoln Depot in first place. Jackets Blue Moon in Kasoda in second place. Get Swifty at Roddy's in third place. Shazuz at Mama T's in six stacks at the Garden Center Lanes in seventh place. Easy Cheese at Rodney's Tavern in eighth place. And Uppy G in ninth place. Oh, here we have those big losers showing up on one of our yeah. favorite players who usually is not a loser. Right. Sarah Money. <laughs> Is in the money. If you get yeah. in these games, doing bad is a good thing. So we've got players under 150th place. But if you get the worst score in the state, you're going to get that $376 yeah. prize. And uh, remember, uh, you got to be to be eligible for those loser prizes. you got to use all 45 of your plays. You can't just sit there with zero plays no. and expect to get money. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I tried it. <laughs> there we have Jewel at Lincoln Depot. In 156th place, 
and Jewel uh, and Spinhead also at the Lincoln Depot. We got the worst oh, and the best oh, that's awesome. in the state in the same building yeah. at the same time. So very cool. That is very exciting to see that happening out there. All right, we have a jackpot hunter twenty or twenty five cent jackpot hunter um, has is new. Yes, like we have a new game update today. Update. Yes. Yep. Due to popular demand. Yes, it has a new pay structure on the minor jackpot. It advances the ball more quickly and keeps those minor jackpots under $600. So there's more winners and money goes straight to you. Yeah, and it already happened today. In the first day, we had, uh, I don't know if it was like a $200 winner, something like nice. that. Happened I'll, right, I like right that. away. Yeah, it That's goes. That's very cool. So it starts at 52 balls and then mm -hmm. it goes 56 and then 60 and then 64. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it moves up very quickly and get some money right into your pocket. Good yeah. timing for these holidays, too. Also, we want to shout out everyone out there watching Pilot TV in their location. Hope you guys are having a good night. We do have some new Pilot TVs that were installed at some locations. We've got VFW Coon Rapids, Woody's Bar and Grill, Harbor Bar and Restaurant, Frankie's Bar, Broadway Bar, VFW, Forest Lake, Neighbors Eatery Saloon, Villa Bar and Grill, 152 Club, Wild Bill's Sports Saloon in Blaine, Ditto's Bar, Carbone's Pizza in Pub, Oak Park Heights, Clay's Wild Bill Sports Saloon in Woodbury, Neighbors on the Rum, and Sleepy Eyes Servicemen's Club. Yeah, welcome all our new friends out there who are watching yeah. for the first time. Uh, definitely stop by and say hello. Send us a message on mm -hmm. Facebook. You can email us at jackpots at pilotgames.com. Uh, you can stop by Player Connect, download the app there, get on the App Store, say hello in the chat. We want to say hi to you. We yeah. will send you some good luck. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Sometimes it sometimes. doesn't, but sometimes it does work. <laughs> and uh, we're having a blast here. Fifth place, even going to get $112 in this game. Second place, $300. Third place, $188. Bucks. Fourth place, $150. But $376 for first place and worst place. And uh, let's see where we are here. Jewel in 182nd place. There's Toots, 181st place. Bit in 180th, and Sarah Money still in the money at 178th place. Keep on holding yeah. tight there, Sarah. I think you might make it with two minutes to go. Just better hope that everybody's doing better than you are. Sloppy at Malone's Bar in third place, but Spinhead at Lincoln Depot holding on to first place most of this game with 19,000 PGL points. All right, we have our weekly jackpot watch. We've had 22 jackpots what? for the week so far and 338 for the season. Yesterday's jackpot winner went to Adagio's at Shortstop <laughs> Fridley. Um, whoa, they won $36,508. That was the mega on the oh, 25 cent wow, game. Wow, way yeah. to go. That's yep. amazing. Congrats. So congrats, you guys. We didn't <laughs> see a picture from them. Maybe they'll send us a picture. No. We were... I was asked today, where did we get a picture of them? And I said, had to say no. They didn't oh, send yeah. one in yet. But any day now, we might yeah, get it. Yeah, you guys, send one in. We also have our E-Tab jackpot highlight. This is coming out of 9th Street Social Club. We just pick a location every week or every day, every actually, day. and go with that. We got had a jackpot going out in Persian James for $1,000 there, oh. one in Rock and Gold for $1,400, and one at for Big Fat Cash. It was also $1,400. Those so are the classic games. Those yeah, are some those of the, are. the very original ones when we started so yeah that's awesome um, yeah it's cool to see people still liking those games and sometimes the classic games just stick mm -hmm. around because they're so much fun to play and and they and you win yeah as uh, <laughs> evidence right there so congrats to all you guys out there winning on those games whether it's a new game or an old game we're always rooting for you and hoping you're gonna win some big money 30 seconds to go here and see what can happen at the end. But it looks like most of our players are done with all of their plays for tonight. We've got the Tin Man out there uh, winning the celebrity of the evening yeah. so far. Um, Tin Man. Big celebrity. Yep, big time celebrity. Coming Jewel up all is the a way. celebrity. Yeah, Jewel is as well. I heard a story about Jewel, how she got started. Oh. Because she was homeless, living in her car. And she found a coffee shop that would let her play. Mm -hmm. And um, and she would play for free if she could keep a portion of uh, the door money. Something. Okay, yeah. 
And the lady said, sure. And so then it was up to Jewel. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, Spithead, <laughs> at the Lincoln Depot, $376. Congrats. So then, because the coffee shop lady was going to go out of business. But she let Jewel do that because she thought, well, maybe this girl will try to get more business in here because the more people that come in, the more money she's going to get. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Oh, so she, cool. So Jewel went and drummed up interest in her singing her songs and the coffee shop stayed open Very and nice. uh, the rest is history. Love it. That's a great story. All I'm pretty right. sure it's true. It's not, I feel like I remember <laughs> something about that. Um, you see, you were talking about sending in pictures and one way you can do that is through Facebook. So be sure to give us a like and a follow on Facebook. You just search Pilot Games. You'll see our logo. That's us. You also will find our weekly bingo schedules there as well as our um, event details and pr big progressive updates, um, our player picks and a lot more. We also have a link tree there in the bio where you can um, see our other socials as well as find the locations in your area that have pilot games yep there's a nice map right there you can zoom in on it to the city that you live in or maybe the city that you want to visit maybe you're out hunting this week and you yes. want to find a place nearby yeah. just take a look at the link tree and we got curtis checking in with some winners curtis thanks for uh dumping those to us hope you're having yeah. a great evening Yes, absolutely. I keep seeing people saying they're not seeing anything out there where they're hunting. And I'm like, I just look out my window every day. I think the deer. difference is <laughs> in our neighborhood, the deer know you can't run around with a gun. That, yeah, that's true. So they feel safe and they just come out. They're, and like, walk, oh, they're not hiding. Yeah, we have free roam here. <laughs> yeah, they can come out. But we did see some either one or two nice bucks. I, cu I couldn't tell if it was the same yeah. one earlier in the year. I mean, in the, it was in the fall, but yeah. um, recent... recent uh, yeah. Recently, but far away. Yeah. All right, here we are. 190 players enrolled. Five minutes to go. Sixteen hundred dollars in total prizes. This, these are all must-go prizes in this 45-play 10-minute flash bingo tournament game. Got Curtis saying, "Yeah, having a great <laughs> night." Yeah, I love to hear that. Let's go over those winners um, that Curtis sent in up from the last game, which was Blingo Bingo. We're gonna go over our top three winners in. Sorry, I'm trying to like uh, make my eyes work here. You gotta, you gotta zoom in with your eyes. And first, we had Spinhead at Lincoln Depot in St. Cloud Wing, three hundred and seventy-six dollars. And second, it was Shazaz at Mama T's Castle Tap, winning three hundred dollars. And in third, it was Moop at Main Street Sports Bar, winning a hundred and eighty-eight dollars. And our biggest loser of the night in one hundred and eighty-second is Mark Rocks at Happy Hour Bar, winning three hundred and seventy-six dollars. Mark, you do rock. You yeah. know how to play these games. You know how to, when the luck's not going your way, you twist it to your way yes. and end up taking home some cash. <laughs> so congrats to all our big winners in that last game. There were 20 winners in that game, I think, yeah. in total. And uh, and that's just a small subset of all the winners from that game. Four and a half minutes to go to get enrolled in this next game. 208 of our closest friends are already enrolled and ready to go. If you got some fun Thanksgiving plans, let us know. Yeah. What are your traditions? Yeah. Yeah, eating turkey, watching football. Yeah, definitely. Although it's it, uh, it, the past few years, it's been so confusing to figure out how to watch football. Yeah, that's very true. It's too many apps, and I don't know what we Probably subscribe to. That out, yeah, I know we've got to find, we've got to figure out. What. Probably should figure it out. <laughs> I asked Alexa how to do it, and she didn't have a good response. It's like I, she should know. I feel she like knows I've everything else. In the last couple of years, just looking up updates of yeah. scores. Which is great, but it's not the same as hearing football on your TV. And especially, like last year, we didn't have anybody over. It was just us. But it's mm -hmm. more fun when there's like a group of people you want yeah. to have the game on. Yeah. Yep. All right. So what's in store for this week? Here is our weekly bingo schedule. Every day, we've got Vikings bingo, 25 cent cards from noon to 1 p.m. Right now, that 52 ball is over, well over $20,000. That is a lie. It's about... Oh, that's the one that went out. That did go out today. We had a bunch of jackpots today. so Okay, so um, that has reset. Yeah, it went out right at the very end. I'm not sure who won. Let me All look right. it up. All right. Then we've got jackpot 125 cent cards from 1 to 4 p.m. every day. I'm not sure if I'm going to be right on any of these if we <laughs> had a lot of jackpots go out. But we have our mega, major, and minor jackpots in that game. 
Um, it looks like the major and the minor did go out. So those yesterday. have reset yeah. yesterday. And that mega is at $25,000 within 43 balls. We've got lucky four bingo. I have a good feeling. I feel like this is going to go out in the next couple months. I could lucky, be wrong. I know. Um, lucky four bingo every day at 4 p.m. It is at $45,211. We've got jackpot hunter $1 cards every day from 4 to 6 p.m. We've got our mega, major, and minor. I'm not sure where the major and minor stand in that, but the mega for sure is over $100,000. That's at $109,000 um, within 47 balls. We've got skull bingo $1 card every day from 6 to 10 p.m. The coverall, did that, that didn't go out? In school bingo? No, the coverall did not go out. The large frame went out. All right, so we got our coverall. Is and the line went out. All right, our large our coverall is over $5,500 within 50 balls. The large frame has reset, and that line has reset as well. Yep. Every Tuesday, we've got Mega Soda Game Night at 640. That's where you're at right now. We've got our 54 ball coverall. It's going to be over $6,500 tonight. And we've got Wild Wednesday every Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. They have a 52 ball coverall, as well as a whole lot of yep. other fun games um, with great jackpots. But the 52 ball coverall right now is at $7,753. And we got Vikings game day bingo every Vikings game day, 30 minutes before kickoff. Yep. And another quick jackpot update. Yeah. The winner of the Vikings bingo jackpot today was Pooba. All right. Playing at Patriots Tavern, won twenty one thousand five hundred and thirty bucks. Nice. And then, in the time, the short time between uh, Happy Hour and Mega Soda, we had three more jackpots. Whoa. We had Keith playing at Billy's in Rockford, winning eight hundred and thirty seven bucks. We had these are all Skull Bingo winners. Um, we had Ace. At the Princeton Golf Club, picking up nineteen hundred bucks, and then we had Miami Beach picking up seven hundred and fifty bucks at the Upper Deck All Sports right. Bar. I remember Miami Beach was they a winner. They just had a big. Uh, yeah, I remember they. Not that long ago. Yeah, on on Megasota because I remember them winning. I just remember the name. I think Me they too. won. Because I was split. like, what are they going to do? They're going to go to Miami Beach. Yeah, remember <laughs> the hundred thousand dollar jackpot we had was split by two winners. Oh yeah, and I so think they got one of it. One yeah, of them. Yeah, sixty two thousand. Yeah, that's right. Over yep. sixty two thousand dollars. Yep. Nice, Miami Beach. Yeah, so winning again. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty bucks. All right, just a few more seconds to get enrolled in this Winter Wonderland game. Ten minute flash bingo tournament game. Ten dollar buy in. Twenty one hundred bucks in must go prizes. All going back tonight. And let's see where those prizes end up. Who's going to take the lead to get this thing rolling? Looks like Tabco jumping up in first place at Mully's on Madison. 254 bucks for first place on a $10 buy-in. Not too shabby. 177 for second place, 152 for third, 127 for fourth place, and 101 bucks for fifth place. And there's Diesel on the leaderboard. Longtime friend of ours. Yes. Haven't heard from you in a while, Diesel, playing at Eagle St. James. Nice to see you out there, Diesel. Been a, a long time. I think, I can't remember. I think we met Diesel at a PyCon. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think we did. PyCon or, yeah, I think it was PyCon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we met Diesel. PCS. Yeah, it was either, yeah, it was one of, it was one of those. Yep. Mm -hmm. So nice to see you out there, Diesel. Speaking of PyCon, a PyCon is such a, uh, I don't want to say ordeal. That's not the right word. But it's it is it takes so much time and effort to plan the event that we're already planning PyCon 2022. Yeah. Yes, we are. It's just a big event. It is. So yeah. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot. You got to start early. It's like once you so already got to start having things in mind for the next one when the other ones happen. Yeah. But it, I sure. mean, this past one was the best one ever. And we've I had saw some the really video good ones. Yeah, like, you didn't even get to go. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> yeah, with Willie Nelson. <laughs> oh. And, oh, did that get posted to socials today? Yeah, it did. Okay, it was great. So good. Yeah, check it out. If you missed out on PyCon, uh, go to our Facebook page and watch the video. Or if you were at PyCon this year, go to our Facebook page <laughs> and watch the video because you'll bring. <laughs> you back might some, be in it. <laughs> yeah, you might be in it, and it'll bring back some great memories. Yeah, we had a bunch of interviews yeah, with people. Yeah, I saw so many players that yeah, I know. Yeah. Yep. It, it was so cool. Yeah, it's a great video. 
It was a very good video. All right, we do have some national days to get into. So let's go over the first one. We've got National Check Your Wipers Day. Oh. <laughs> Reminds drivers to regularly check their windshield wipers to ensure optimum visibility in the event of inclement weather on the road. Yeah, I remember we lived in Nevada. Uh, most of the cars I had there, they were just... I don't even know if they worked because it never rained. It never rained. And whenever you t had to turn it on, like the one day a year it rained, it would be just like crumbly rubber. <laughs> just yeah, because like it was all so over dry the too. Yeah, it was just super dry. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, that never worked for me. All right. So check your wipers. Yeah, check your wipers. Especially now when it's snowing. We're going into winter. Yeah, it's snowing and you get the slush kicked up on your windshield and yeah. all this stuff. Oh, yeah, because sometimes it's not even really raining. It's no. just like the road is wet. Yep. And then that's the worst. I've had times when I ran out of the um Oh, the blue fluid. stuff, yeah. And, like, I would have to drive from, like, gas station to gas station <laughs> on a road trip. Oh, they put the squeegee on? Yes. Yeah. It was awful. It was yeah. awful. Because yeah. they were, I don't know why I didn't, like, I guess there just wasn't any fluid at the places. I can't remember because you could just buy it and put it in. You could, but depending on how, how old you were, uh, paying the 99 cents for that was may not have been a great financial investment at the time. May not have been. <laughs> they're like, oh, I, I got to go. Know. I think there was just something wrong with my car. That's oh, all. Okay. I, like, it, it wasn't work. working. Yeah. Like, no matter what I did. There was some reason I had to do that. I just have a very <laughs> bad memory <laughs> yeah. of that being in the mountains. All right. Gary B. jumping into first place. The Village Inn in LaSalle. Wal There's Waldo in sixth place. EBIT down in the second at Willie McCoy's Vandover. Marky Mark and the fun Funky Bunch. Shenanigans in third place. Chuck at the BNL Bar in New Ulm in fourth. Tabco in fifth place. In sixth place, we got Red Besita, the Besita Bar and Grill in eighth place. There's Waldo in seventh. And Andy La, La Playette with a La One in eighth place. Players out there having a lot of fun tonight, we can tell. Yeah. I'm going to get on my Player Connect app because I accidentally closed out of it. That's the thing. You got to. Got to be in there to hear all the great conversation yeah. going on. All right, let's jump into another national day. It is National Fast Food Day. First popularized in the United States in the 1950s, fast food is considered any meal with low preparation time and served to a customer in a packaged form. The meal makes for quick dine-in, takeout, or takeaway. Most fast food restaurants offer drive through service. A lot of them do. Are you like Sonic? You can drive in and they just bring the stuff to your car. Yeah, I like Another that. Another style think um i mean i don't it's been a long time since we've eaten fast food i know but um yeah mcdonald's french fries always at the top of my list yeah but um, definitely yeah gary Favorite b back food. at top yeah uh would be mcdonald's i like chick-fil-a uh, mcdonald's french fries but we haven't eaten any of it no nope. yeah, very long one day time. i've got a chick-fil-a gift card one day i'll yeah. use it and had it like for a year. The street, so it's not like hard to get to. <laughs> had it for a year. All right, John A. I'm always on Madison in the third place. Gary B. with twenty thousand PGL points. These are season ten PGL points. Season ten is going to run all the way from July the first to the end of December, which at one point in time seemed like a long ways away. Now but it's now here. we are about four or five weeks from the end of season yeah. ten. And uh, and time is just flying by because usually we take the last two weeks of the year off. So um, you got to earn those points very soon. Yes, yes. Got the Ice Guy, Mr. Ice Guy at the American Legion in Cleveland. Nice to see you playing. 15,000 PGL points. But Gary B., the player to beat, just shy of 22,000 PGL points in first place. Chuck and Tabco with a bunch of plays left. Let's see what you can do with those remaining plays. All right, I've got another national day. This one's exciting. <laughs> national Button Day. Oh. Founded in 1938, the National Button Society recognized button collecting as an organized hobby. Both novice, novice and advanced button collectors celebrate the enjoyment of collecting on this day. Like as in political buttons? Uh, we don't or know because buttons. people also collect like uh, clothing buttons. Huh. Well, I always thought it's it clothing, but okay. I always thought I wanted to, but I think that other things are called like pins, pins, too. right? Pins yeah. or buttons. Okay, you're buttons. right. Yeah, buttons. Well, congratulations to everybody who collects those things. I'm sure you have a wonderful collection. <laughs> All right, two minutes to go 
Oh, speaking of Pilot TV and special programming, you guys are going to tune in all day Thursday. Yeah. It's going to be a special day of programming where you're going to hear about the latest stuff uh, that Pilot's bringing out. You'll get to see some sneak peeks and new games. Um, it's going to be a blast. And uh, so definitely uh, t tune in to Pilot TV on Thursday and Friday for some new stuff. We'll have our regular shows, maybe a twist to how they're run. But then we'll have some extra stuff thrown in there uh, showing off some of our latest games, uh, games that we plan on bringing out early next year. Uh, it's just going to be, next year is going to be a great year of games. I can say that for sure. We've yeah. got a great uh, batch of games coming out for the beginning of the year. And then once we get to the midway point, we've got amazing games. <laughs> amazing games upon amazing games. And all your favorite classics, they'll always be there. So you don't have to worry about that. But you'll have some better choice. Well, I don't know. All our games are great. You'll have new choices when you come to play. Yes. All right. A minute to go. Let's see if anybody's going to catch Gary B. 22,000 PGL points. Looks like our top nine has been fairly stable for the past few minutes here. See if anybody can sneak in right at the end. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. 254 bucks likely to go to Gary B. But we've got some plays left. Use them up because in 30 seconds they will disappear forever. What do we have coming up? Are we on Fishing Derby already? We will be on Fishing Derby Dang. where we'll have 25 winners. Our largemouth jackpot will be over $5,756 and the smallmouth over $851. All right. Looking forward to seeing who's going to pick those up. Remember, you yes. can win those on any play. Get that golden walleye. Pick up one of those big bonuses. There we go. It's going to wrap it up. Gary B, you gotta take it home. Congratulations, Gary B. Congrats to everybody who's out there playing tonight. Let's see who's gonna be the next big winner in Fish and Derby. Dangy. <laughs> 43rd place, like the <laughs> name. Ah, dangy. There we go, Gary B, 253. It rhymes. Congrats. Yes, congrats. All right, we've got one last national day. Okay. Also exciting. Is it? What is it? It's National Indiana Day. Oh yes, no, that is very exciting. <laughs> Indiana was the nineteenth. <laughs> we should have had a. It should be a paid holiday. <laughs> Indiana was the nineteenth state to enter the union. James Monroe had just defeated Rufus King in the eighteen sixteen presidential race to become the fifth president of the United States. The second state to enter the union from the Northwest Territory. Indiana grew rapidly. Well, I lived in Indiana. Indiana. I went to school in Indiana. Yeah, you did. So I was there for four years. That's that's fine. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I just lived in college. I didn't. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> didn't get the real Indiana. I didn't, yeah, experience. I don't didn't get that. But um, I think the weirdest part about living in Indiana, at least the, uh, and I think they may have changed it since then. But it was with the daylight savings time. Oh, yeah. Like I think, no, everybody in the state never changed their clock. And then, but if you lived real close to Chicago, you were always on Chicago time. Oh, But most okay. of the state never changed their clock. And then if you were in Indianapolis, like in the middle of the state, you were on East Coast time. Yeah, so like they changed lot. their clocks, but then most of the state did, just yeah. never did it. And then, yeah, so that's some confusing. of it was, it was very confusing. So when you're trying to drive to Indianapolis to go to Best Buy, <laughs> it's like you don't even know if they're going to be open or not. <laughs> Uh, all right, three minutes to go. 223 anglers already enrolled. Look at those total prizes going up close to 10,000 bucks. That's all going back if somebody can win that largemouth jackpot. And if somebody can win that smallmouth jackpot, you can do it on any cast. You got 50 tries. Let's see who's going to do it in this game. We'll find out here coming up in about 160 seconds. All right, we are now going to go over our Twikings standings, which means we are in the Twikings do, 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 zone. Do, 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 do. That is our lunchtime bingo standings. When the Vikings are in season, it's Vikings bingo. And when the Twins are in season, it's Twins bingo. So we like to call it the Twikings zone. For our player standings in 10th, we've got Looser Dave at Finlayson Municipal Bar. In 9th, we've got Kick It at Bleachers. In 8th, it's 
Joni at VFW North St. Paul. In seven, it's Putts at Willard's Bar of Bacchus. In six, we've got Scrub Eye at VFW Blaine. In fifth, it's Nan at Corky's Bar South Haven. In fourth, Elsa at Titan Sports Saloon. In third, SNS at Willie McCoy's of Andover. In second, Lucky Tim at American Legion Shakopee. And in first, Not Lucky at Corner Bar Good. You got Lucky Tim. And, and not, not lucky. lucky. First yeah. and second place. Sounds like one of you's lying. Yeah, I think so. I wonder who. All <laughs> right. In our location seatings in 10th, we've got Bleachers in Maplewood. In 9th, it's Miniger Sports Hub in La Crescent. In 8th, Titan Sports Saloon in Oakdale. In 7th, Lake Front Bar in La Center. In 6th, Corky's Bar South Haven. In 5th, American Legion Fridley. In 4th, Carbone's Pizzeria in Pub Oak Park Heights. In 3rd, Maple View Lounge. In 2nd, VFW Spring Lake Park. In a 1st, Corner Bar Goodhue. All right. Congrats to all those locations locations and all those players hanging out playing some lunchtime bingo with us it's a lot of fun to see you guys out there on a regular basis and one of you picked up some big money today with that twenty one thousand dollar win yeah. at lunchtime big win yes. especially this time if you get twenty one thousand dollars just think of all the stuff you can do on black friday yeah go all the online sales you can do the pre-black friday you could do Black Friday. You could do Cyber Monday. I'll tell you how to sp spend that money. All you got to do is ask. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. 257 anglers all set up and ready to go. I can get our boat started here. All right. While you do that, while, uh, all these leaderboards we're talking about are part of our Pilot Gambling League, and you can sign up on pgl.world to become a member of our league. PGL players compete for points, and they have access to insider information, including a monthly newsletter that always has a lot of great information in it. You'll be the first to know about what is coming up. You can also use your PGL account to sign into the Player Connect app. Yep. We have some new PGL members to spotlight tonight we've got one bad bingo i saw them <laughs> i saw them out there playing yep fresh and we've got mad mama jonathan beer and brats mm. and klc dpm all right. all right thank you guys for signing up for the pilot gambling yeah League. always need to see new players signing up and remember tonight only if you have not if you're not a PGL member, but you sign up tonight, we'll give you all your points you've earned in Season yeah. 10 for a PGL. We'll do it tonight. Tonight only, though. <laughs> so make sure you can do it. Sign up on your phone. You can do it right there on your phone. All you got to do is download the Player Connect app. It'll walk you through it. Or you just go to PGL.world and do it right there on the website. It takes about 26 seconds. You can yeah. get it done. All right. Let's take a look at Big Wampum Lake and see where all of our anglers are at. They're all over. Some are in Eagle Island. Some at the Dockside Bar. Some at the Bay Day Mort, they are just all around. And look at that largemouth jackpot, 6,270 bucks. And the smallmouth is $1,108. So big money out there tonight. Let's see if yeah. somebody can pick up one or both of these. Uh, remember, if more than one player wins the progressive throughout the duration of this tournament, that prize is split by the number of winners. Okay, Graham D in second place, Scoot Dog at the Maple Tavern in third, Win at Beck's Pub in fourth place, TC Awesome at Hoover's Pub in fifth place. TC, you are awesome. Stacks at Garden Center Lanes in sixth place, TC Awesome down to seventh, RCD, Pebble Creek Golf Course in eighth place, and Mal Pal at Gabe's by the Park in ninth place. And Alyssa and Dad <laughs> jumping up into uh, first place, and MT's on eighth. Nice to see you guys out there. Is that how you say that? Alyssa? I, I think yeah, so. Yeah, Alyssa and Dad. Looks Carrie like at the Root River Saloon in seventh place. Stax in eighth. Porky at HR Pesties in ninth place. Tried something new tonight. We ate dinner before. That's <laughs> a. <laughs> we eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody wants to know. <laughs> it's just different. Dead. I like it. Because normally I'd just be Thinking starving. About food? Yeah. Now I'm fine. Lucy Lou at Molly's on Madison in sixth place. Nice to see you on the leaderboard, Lucy Lou. Let's take a look at our buddy count. How's that sound? Sounds good. Let's see. We're back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong window. And. All right. <laughs> there we go. Oh. 
Wrong window selected, and now we're good. Buddy count. That's what I'm trying to say. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff on the screen. 37% <laughs> with Pete, 41% with Susie, and just 22% for Matt. And our lures. There we go. That looks nice. 19% using that one in the upper left-hand corner. 12% with the worms. That's what everybody's using. Do you want to use what everybody's using or what everybody is not using? Mm -hmm. We'll leave that up to you. But that is what's happening right now live from Big Wampum Lake. That is our lure count. Still nobody picking up this largemouth jackpot of 6270 bucks. Nobody picking up this smallmouth jackpot of $1,108. See what happens as we keep cruising here with 10 minutes to go. $616 for first place. That's going to be a nice jackpot for whoever picks that one up. 462 for second place. Also a very nice uh, prize all the way down to... A hundred and two dollars in tenth place mm -hmm. big money across the board coming up here in this game 10 minutes to go still nobody picking up those progressives once we get this far into it seems to be hard to win it i don't know why yeah. usually we see these things pop off right at the very beginning but you never know any cast should get you that that big win Alyssa and dad forty three thousand pgl points they're not even halfway done with their plays Wow. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Michelob, longtime friend of ours, playing nice and Gaylord, and T-Mac at Eagles Rochester. Nice to see you out there. T-Mac, ninth place and 19,000 PGL points. There's Suki playing at Howie's. Suki, Suki, lend me your comb. You know that song? No, but you say <laughs> it every time. <laughs> it's a good one. I learned it in Spanish class, which is even odder. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that we got song. Conrad I in It's real. Place. We looked it up. Yeah, before. we did. Playing at Aardvarks. I think it's actually Kuki, not Suki. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. All right. Nine minutes to go. Yep. Station G in second place at the VFW Roseville. Nice to see you out there. Ed Burns and Connie Stevens. Yeah, Ed Burns. Huh. Ed Burns? Is that the guy? What's the, uh, like on the iMovie? Ken Burns. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's not Ken. I wonder if they're no. related. Could be. All right. Let's see. I have our winners from the last game, the Ooh, top yeah. three to go over. In first, we had Gary, and this was Winter Wonderland. In first, we had Gary B at Village Inn of LaSalle winning $253. In second,